Hi guys, I am Mushekwa L Ndangeno with Meds XYZ and welcome to today's lesson. If you haven't subscribed to Meds XYZ, please do so that you will get all the notification when we upload videos. All right, guys, uh, today we'll be dealing with the sign, the cosine, and also the area rule in trigonometry, of which uh, in this uh, lesson I will be showing you all the trigonometry that you need to understand so that you will be able to answer questions concerning uh, this, uh, this section. All right, so we just have to go straight to the question so that you'll be able to understand how to approach question and also be confident enough to answer the question in uh, area in, in the sine, cosine, and area role in trig. Then we have two triangles here in this question of which the first triangle is triangle ABD and the second one is triangle BDC, B, BCD. And the question here says we must find the area of triangle BCD, which is this triangle, the second triangle here. So what we need to uh, to be able to answer to to have the area of a triangle, what we need to have is two sides and also the included angle of that um, of that um, uh, triangle. So in this case here, let's just take uh, out triangle that triangle out. So we have this triangle, I just have the bread angle, I think. So it's triangle BCD, of which here we have 33. And here we don't have the value of this angle here. And we also have the value, we don't have the values of any of the angles here. But then it becomes easy for us to have the value of, the, of this angle, which is the angle of B2 here. How is it easy? Because we know that this sign here tells us that this whole angle here is equal to 90 degrees. And then now that we know the value of B1, which is 61, then it will be easy for us to get the second uh, B2 angle, which we just have to say 90 minus 61 degrees. All right, then let me just check from the calculator how much that will be. That will be 90 minus 61, of which it will be 29 degrees. Now that we have 29 degrees, we need to find the another side of the triangle, which is this side here, which is the side of BD, then we'll be able to answer the question, uh, to, to be able to answer the question, to, to be able to, uh, to find the area in this question. All right, then to find the length of BD, which is this one in the first triangle here, what we need to do is to use the sign rule, of which this will be opposite to that, that will be opposite to that, so that we'll be able to find the length of BD. And after that, we would have completed everything, so that we'll be able to add to find the area of the triangle BCD. Let's just get straight to it, of which the first one, to find the length, okay, I always prefer to have the unknown in the numerator, of which this time it's BD, which is opposite to the sine of 75, which is opposite to the angle of A, which is uh, 75 degrees, is equal to the other side, which is uh, the length of uh, uh, 21, which is 21 divided by the sine of D, of which also D is actually unknown. Then now we have two unknown in this equation, of which, but then to find the angle of D, it will be easy, because the sum of angles of a triangle is equal to 118. Then here we're going to have BD, it's equal to 21 sine of 75 degrees, then divide by the sine of, okay, I'll just have everything in here, which is 180 minus 61 minus 75 again. And then we have that. Now we'll be able to find the length of BD, of which, punching it into a calculator, it will be 21, the sine of 75 degrees, divided by the sine of 180, minus 65 or 61 i mean to say minus 75 again then that will give us 29 comma 20 meters all right uh, actually we don't have the si unit so it will be just 29 comma 2 that is the length of bd now that we have the length of bd which is here 29 comma 2 and also the 29 comma 20 then we are now able to find the area of this triangle here of which area of uh, triangle BCD is equal to 1 over 2 the side of BD multiplied by the side of BC multiplied by the included angle which is the angle of B2 which is uh, in this case 29 degrees then we have 1 over 2 of which BD we have 29 comma 2 
and BC we have 33 which was given and also the sign of 29 of the sign of 29 degrees which we found by subtracting 61 from 90 then here we have 0 comma 5 multiplied by 29 comma 2 multiplied by 33 multiplied by the sign of 29 degrees and that will give us the area of 233,58 square units we don't have we don't have the unit so we'll just write the unit square so that you know that whatever the SI unit that we were supposed to have in this question it was supposed to be squared to show that it's actually the area let me just confirm the answer of which just recalculate again is 29,2 it's 0 0,5 multiplied by 29,2 multiplied by 33 multiplied by the included area or included angle I mean to say which is uh, 29 and that gave us 233,58 you need square all right guys i hope you understood everything in this lesson just always remember that you just have to write your unknowns the given and if you don't if you are missing something you find out how you can get it like for this one we're supposed to find only the area of this uh second triangle here and we were only given uh this side the, this, uh, the length of bc and what we need to be able to calculate the area is two sides and also the included angle so to find the included angle it was quite easy because we know that this um angle of b here the angle of b1 plus 2 is equal to 90 degrees then it becomes easy to just subtract uh, 61 degrees from 90 that gives us 29 degrees and after that to find the length of bd we use the top uh, the first triangle the triangle abd to be able by using the sign rule and having d uh in the angle of d1 to subtract the two to give us the the size of d1 and after that we get 29 comma 2 which is the length of bd and now that we have everything we need to be able to calculate the area is just 1 over 2 multiplied by the two sides and multiply by the sign of the included angle and uh, here's the answer of 233,58 units squared all right guys i hope you enjoyed this lesson and if you have any question or if you didn't understand anything please just write on the comment below and we'll reply to you and also please don't forget guys to also subscribe to Math xyz so that you'll be able to get all the videos that we upload you can also check my previous videos from the channel of Math xyz here on youtube thank you guys